Hi everyone, so for the full video go to my um, Facebook page and my YouTube channel Marianne Hansen Counselling Service where I've been talking about how to increase your assets and decrease your liabilities. So I'm just going to run through the um, tips that I've given but as I've said you can get them in depth on my YouTube channel and my Facebook page. So the first one is to instead of saying I deserve this, say I earn this. So instead of just buying things and saying well you know this is what I deserve, um, you know I've worked hard, um, I'm going to go and buy myself like a fancy like bag or I'm going to go and do this, do this. Say I've earned it. And if you think of it that way, it means that every client you've had or every project you've sold or if you've worked really hard, then it's like you're saying I deserve this. And there's no debt attached to that because the money that you're going to have from the work that you've done is what you're going to spend instead of just saying, oh, well, I've had a really rough week and, you know, I've worked on my nine to five all week. So therefore, I'm going to go and blow 500 pounds on this or that will you know, if you keep doing that, then you're definitely going to have loads of liabilities. So that's the first thing. The second thing is around conscious spending. So it's about just being more conscious and aware of where your money's going, what you're spending it on. And that can also fall into the idea of monitoring your spending and doing financial audits. So if you're doing regular audits where you are looking at where your money's going, money tracking is another um, example of that. So you would like you would be looking at your bank statements regularly trying to get receipts as much as possible. I'm not really good with that. I'm not, I'm going to be honest, I don't really get receipts much. And, and they said that you should really, because what you would be doing is looking at your receipts, seeing what you've bought, and then recognising if you are spending more um, or what patterns are there. So that's another thing. And then also decrease your direct debits, any financial agreements, anything that you're paying in instalments. It might seem like extreme to say if you could pay for absolutely everything in, in um, one go. So your council tax, it might be something like 2000 for the year, um, even more than that. Um, your car payments, you'd be looking at um, reducing or just not having car payments at all and just paying in cash. So the idea is if you get to a point where you have lots of assets and that would mean you have lots of multiple forms of income, you're using your talents and your um, skills to increase your um, income, you will be in a position where you can pay for things in full. You know, it does take a lot of work because even for me, I'll pay for some things in full, like I'll say my um, counselling membership, it's only something like £148. I'll try and pay for that in full. There's lots of other things, most of the things. It's direct debits. Now, the thing is you pay more money when you pay things in instalments, but also the direct debit um, system of paying for everything means that every every, every month, you are there's more money coming out so say if you decrease some of those direct debits and you just paid for certain things in full you would have a whole year then to say well okay i don't have to worry about my tv license i don't have to worry about my water bill i don't have to worry about um you know my car tax because it's all paid for so it's worth doing that in the end it's um you know a better way of doing things another thing is just having constant so lots of sources of income multiple sources of income and that comes back to what i've said if you um, tap into your skills there's lots of people that need things so all you really need to do is to figure out what is the need what's in the market that I, you can like tap into and if you don't have a talent it's about maybe going back to um, get one you know go back and get some um, get some skills that's another thing really is an asset is having qualifications an asset is having skills an asset is having the ability to be able to build things so you can sell that or having the mind where you can create a product that everyone wants or having the ability to you know get sales having a service business or even i mean every single person in the world has skills and talents but it's whether they tap into them most people don't that's the problem because they could everyone could earn or be a net uh, um be someone that earns a lot of money but it's just people either don't have the ability they don't have the will they don't have the work ethic or they just don't know that they've got that talent in the first place so the only other thing really is to just um yeah so I've talked about cashing in on your skills do your financial audits um try to limit the direct debits um and financial agreements no impulse spending and yeah, it's just really in just cashing in on your skills, like I've said, to leverage your talents. So the whole point really of like liabilities and assets is that when you purchase something, think to yourself, is this something that I need? That was it. The last one is, is this something that you need or is this something that you want? You know, how many things do you already have 
along um, similar to what you're going to purchase but also can this thing make me money so people should be investing in things like um, courses training courses invest in things like um, obviously everyone should have a laptop so that you can have the ability to earn through that way um, it's not just about earning as well it's about saying right if everything else disappeared in your life what would be the things that could make you money if you was in a position where you lost your job or you was in a position where you had no income because I always think like that. I always think if I had no money because, you know, I was just, I don't know, just in a situation where all my money went, how would I earn money and where would I earn it from and what would I use to earn that money? So you have to think like that because they're the assets. Your asset might be your brain, your mind. Your asset might be your car if, so, if there's work around and you're willing to drive miles to get work. Your asset might be your laptop, as I've said, because you can do remote work. Your asset might be the skills that you have so you're someone that can um, do gardening you're someone that can do it so just think of it in that way really just decrease your liabilities and increase your assets thanks for watching bye